This poem is called Fourth of July Was Good, wasn't it? I know you agree that it's been a hard fight. Most others would comfort me and say that it's all right. But it's impossible to grieve when they don't cry tearlessly, starting at twilight from constant shrouded frights. It wasn't all right to suffer every night, just waiting until you were in my line of sight. It wasn't all right to subscribe to the blight of my own words and then to ignite myself out of spite. It wasn't all right to affront my distant valentine, causing trauma in a forced goodnight. I know you understand my plight. You would never say it's all right, but stay up with me until sun bright. Yet, there is no excuse for my words to, during those nights. I never wanted to berate you. I, I just wanted to hate you. Not at all to be irate, but so that I could fixate and hopefully hold closed the tortured floodgate. Because anything would have been better than to flagellate. So I had to sedate my love for you, spring vexation for my date may, all in the hopes that my mind would mutate into a state of self-exterminate. Sometimes to save myself from myself, I just have to break a bracelet. I know I misbehaved. I never went to my self-deprecating ways to crash a, along your camp's enclave. But that was the only way I knew how to fight against that old crave. I didn't want you to carve. I should have been there on my grave. Maybe going cold turkey was a bad idea. It's hard to secure the stronghold, especially when there's so much mental mold. When I'm out, when I'm without my beacon, it becomes so easy to wander the misty wold. I just tie my blindfold and behold the beyond. It's fear pushing me ever closer to a maddened threshold. I can recall three things that drew me in under its control. The counting, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, only served to distract me from the pain of it drowning me. Rather than hearing about clowning campers, I had to focus on what not to focus on, my love thus frowning, mounting hours of wasted time, all from my incessant counting. The feelings of being daft and feebling me as if it was witchcraft, sapping me into debilitation, my body soon to telegraph its resignation. The only thing to occupy me from emotional deflation were games of Starcraft performed by a younger generation, their handicraft filling their banks of celebration and admiration. Instead, my life raft is sinking about a vocation and feeling starvation, how could I possibly not feel innervation? In the dark, haunting my waking dreams with their mark, encroaching upon the inches of my bed like ravenous sharks, their stark visage standing over me in an arc, skeletal hands and bark to caress my soul as such as their hallmark, with headlight eyes and hooded scowls, no wonder they are my monarchs, following me wherever I go, as nowhere is without the dark, not even Denmark. For this month I apologize. I never wanted to hear your cries. I never wanted to tear up your eyes. I never wanted to distract you from your prize. I never wanted to internalize, capsize, brutalize, pulverize, cannibalize, demonize, baptize, scrutinize, terrorize, and polarize. I never wanted to end the butterflies. But I did it all to avoid the necrotic flies. I hope that we can see new sunrise.